<clears throat> okay, so I just wanted to post another little quick uh, SRS update. Excuse, excuse the poor lighting and my shitty makeup. Um, so the other day, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I had an appointment, a phone consultation with one of the nurses from the surgery department explaining some stuff and I just had to like give her some medical information and so yeah I've been off of estrogen and that sucks balls my some of the like some of my autistic behaviors have come back just in general my crazy has come back my Tourette's is worse than usual so it's making it difficult to get stuff done, but thankfully I do have marijuana and Valium to help get me through it. So right now I'm doing all right. I'm definitely much calmer than I was earlier. So hopefully I can get some stuff done tonight. Um, I've gotten most of my aftercare stuff already squared away. Um, I think really all I need is some some easy food. Because although my mom's going to be here and she's certainly going to be willing to cook for me, I'm definitely going to want some items that are just easy to prepare and delicious. So there's probably going to be some Gardein. And they, they've, I've actually seen Gardein stuff at the grocery outlets. I'll probably pick some up if they have it. Um, just because it's going to be a little less expensive. So... What else? Yeah, as far as the uh, aftercare supplies goes, uh, one of the things I ended up doing is you have to use maxi pads after the surgery. And I do have some just regular disposable maxi pads, but I also picked up some cloth ones. I've got 10 of those, um, five of the sort of medium, uh, medium flow ones, and then five of the overnight. Uh, I decided to go with those because they're a little more eco groovy and they're and and I figure they're gonna be more comfortable and they actually feel really nice. I haven't so I imagine they'll be they'll be comfortable to sleep in and because they are you know reusable I think I think as long as I wash them thoroughly, you know, and maybe I don't know, maybe bleach them if necessary or something then um, I could probably just pass them on to somebody else once I'm done with them. So, so they won't go to waste. I'll probably see if any of my sisters want them, you know, and I don't know if they're going to be weirded out by that, but I kind of figure if, they're, if they've been cleaned, then I don't see what the problem is. Um... And oh, tomorrow I'm going to going to get my hair cut from my favorite tranny hairstylist. This Nick is awesome. If you're ever looking for a really great haircut, go see Nick Meinzer in Oakland at Glamorama Salon. He is absolutely awesome. And the fact that he's trans is very cool. And the whole salon is very LGBT friendly. He is a little spendy, he's like 70 bucks, but it's well worth the money. And I'm just going to be going in for a trim, so I'm hoping that it's not going to cost me the full 70 bucks. We'll see. Because it's going to really depend on what we end up deciding to do, because I'm, I'm wanting to grow my hair out, so we're just going to have to figure out what needs to be done to my hair to get it to, to, get it to do what I want it to do. But I definitely, as you can see, I need my bangs trimmed. And I like having the the hair around my ears trimmed. So, so yeah, so far things are going well, aside from the fact that being off of estrogen is driving me crazy. And I still have some more stuff that I need to get cleaned up in my room. My bed is just covered with stuff that needs to get put away. So I need to get that all squared away. But I'll probably be spending most of my recovery in a separate room. We have another bedroom that's that has a TV. So I'll probably just have, you know, you know, recliner in there. So TV, recliner, bed. That'll be good because that way I can just sit there and watch TV. 
and I've got my uh, Raspberry Pi set up with RetroPie so I can play video games. So I'll have that. And I'll probably, you know, drag the Roku out of the living room so I can watch YouTube videos and Netflix and whatever on, on that TV. So, so yeah, things should be all right. And... Yeah, my mom my mom is going to be the one helping out with the surgery stuff and so uh she's going to take me to the on the 12th she's going to take me to the hospital and she has uh she has uh she teaches uh Spanish to some homeschoolers so she's going to be doing that the next day. So it sounds like what she's going to do is come by and visit real quick since it is going to be my birthday and she's going to drop my dad off. Um, but she's not going to be able to stay because she does have to attend to her students. And from there, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen from there as far as her coming to visit, but hopefully everything will be fine. And hopefully the food in the hospital doesn't suck too bad. So... And I'm going to definitely try to do a better job of keeping up with these little vlogs. Um, two days before my surgery, I get to start drinking that bowel cleansing stuff and going on the liquid diet. Ugh, not looking forward to that. So that'll be fun. I get to spend my time drinking, consuming nothing but apple juice and Gatorade. Ugh. And I can have coffee, but it sounds like the coffee's going to have to be black and... I always like soy milk and Splenda in my coffee, but mm, oh well. Caffeine is caffeine, right? Uh, yeah, and and I'll definitely see about, I'll be vlogging all that fun stuff, you know, dealing with the bowel cleansing. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do a little vlogging on my way to the hospital and then I'm going to see about, like, doing a little vlogging when we get to the hospital. I don't know don't know how much I'm going to be able to do because I don't necessarily want to be walking around the hospital, you know, with a, you know, camera. Um, and I will definitely be, uh, yeah, and I will try to get some vlogging done after, after I get out of surgery. But it's all going to depend on how I feel. And I am going to keep keep up on Twitter. That's where I'm probably going to be posting most of my surgery updates. And, of course, I'll be posting pictures on Instagram. And my Twitter is... Uh, my Twitter and Instagram, those will be in the video description if you want to follow me in those places and keep, keep tabs on that. Um, uh, yeah, and I guess that'll pretty much do it. I'm my surgery is in 8 days and I am ridiculously excited. <sighs> Wish me luck.